excuse me. Okay, and this is lifted, uh, lifted from one of your past exams. And we need to see that. Directions. Read and annotate the passage, Meet the Teacher, by Cecil. It's the swore. Then answer question, answer the question, sorry, answer the question on the last slide. Exit ticket two. Okay. Yes, I know you're all going to say, oh, you made a mistake. Yeah. Uh, the events in this passage took place many years ago in Zimbabwe, a country in Africa. Okay, and here we have, right, the continent, okay, the homeland here. I have added these. You are, this, these are my annotations. You are going to add your own, right? We always do that. We always do it twice because what's the point of doing it once when you can do it twice in life? You know what one side, what we do to one side like a math, we do to the other, right? It's that balance, right? That balance of that which our society, uh, our world, we just don't have it, right? So we need to practice that any way we can. Okay, so my annotations are your annotations and vice versa. That doesn't mean you're not annotating. All right. Okay, we have Zimbabwe here. All righty. And uh, the Sanyati here. Okay, and this is it. All right. Meet the Teacher by Cecil. It's, sorry, by Cecil Zwawa. So the one for the paragraph, you're seeing it, be seeing it now, witness it. Witness it, note it, note it, mark it. Tatenda is only 11 years old, and someday he wants to be a doctor. But today, his friends and schoolmates call him teacher. Like most children in Sanyati, a small countryside town in western Zimbabwe, when Tatenda was not at school, he spent his time playing football, um, or uh, what we call soccer or looking after his father's cattle. One day, cattle moo moo, one day when he arrived home from school, he noticed something very unfamiliar in the house. Okay, so we're noticing the shifts here. Okay, transition, but, okay, eto, mira, doctor, today, right, so, excuse me, someday, doctor, today, teacher so there's already they're already outlining the theme here the theme is coming it's coming right up okay it's coming right up let's not miss it now at first he thought it was a television when his mom told him it was a computer tatenda became very angry what what use was this machine the computer sat idle lonely I'm so lonely, there is nobody to call my own. Tatenda did not know what to do with it. His father did not know what to do with it. In fact, nobody in the neighborhood knew what to do with it. Then, one day, Amina, Tatenda's cousin, came from her home in the capital city of Harer for a visit. She taught Tatenda how to use the, the computer. At first, okay, so at first, at first, notice the transition. Lots of changes here, lots of characters. Okay, just notice the urgency. It seemed like all nonsense to Tatenda. I was always pressing the wrong button, he admits. But he persisted because he was very eager to learn how to use it properly. By the time Amina returned to Harer, Tatenda was able to use the computer on his own. The shift, now it's coming. Notice the climax. Notice the shift, now it's coming up. Meanwhile, another transitory word here. Tatenda's friends were wondering what had happened to him. He no longer came out to play soccer with them. And if he did come out to play, he only played for a short while. His friend, Sadie, said he always had some reason to go home. We were all puzzled. So one day, Tatenda's friends, Sadi, Themba, and Solomon, decided to pay him a surprise visit. When they arrived, Tatenda was so busy that he did not hear them coming. Tatenda was surprised to see his friends, but they were even more surprised to see not only a computer, but Tatenda working on it. 
Tatenda's friends were intrigued. Okay. Sometimes they would go to Tatenda's house just to watch him operate the computer. Occasionally, he would let them press a button or two or shake the mouse just for the fun of it. Tatenda's friends spent so much time, um, yes, Riley, spent so much time with Tatenda that in a few months, they were soon able to use the computer on their own. Okay, so you are seeing that I'm giving you some hints here that they, they are, um, they are giving us, there's a lot of change and a lot of big words, but they are speaking about the same thing. It always is change. The theme is change, change over time, change. Don't you grow? Huh? It change. Word began to spread that an 11 year old boy was operating a computer at his home. Kids from the villages nearby began flocking to Tatenda's house. I'm watching you stay with me. Don't think I'm not watching this because I'm behind this here screen. Mm -hmm. I, we're not playing with handsies or Legos or hoorahha while we're doing the ELA. They all had one request. Teach us how to work on a computer. There were so many kids coming to see him, said Tatenda's mother. We moved the computer from his small room to the back room, which is larger. In further significance of the mother's words via the change in value and importance, now that Tatenda has and can manipulate this unfamiliar item called a computer. Okay, think about how I feel when you put your video game in front of me. Yeah, okay. I can drive on a road, but I cannot drive in Roblox. Okay, we're, we're 15 seconds away. We're going to do the word for 15 seconds away. Okay, and then we'll have a part three and praise that this is uh, fast enough.